Hello everyone. I recognise that this week has been a week of change for so many, whether it's our pupils now back at home, or whether it's teachers having to make changes, or parents and carers now homeschooling again, or whether it's those who have now been told to self-isolate or to shield. I just wanted to be able to say to you that we as a church are with you. We are praying for you and we stand alongside you. And if there's any things we can do to help, please do contact the church office. Or maybe if you just wanted someone to pick up the phone and quietly pray with you at this time, we'd be delighted to. We also wanted to let you know that the PCC, upon reflection and prayer, has also decided just to live stream services on a Sunday for the next few weeks. We believe this is in the best interests of our community and us staying safe and for us to continue to be able to worship where we are at home as well as connecting together. And we as a community are going to continue to be rooting into God and our Zoom prayer meeting is Friday at 10 o'clock and next Wednesday is our day of prayer and fasting. We're continuing to run the Alpha course in a few weeks time as well as the Bible course and the bereavement course. There's loads more details all on our website. We'd love you to check this out, as well as other updates for the time being. But one of the things that several of you have been saying to me is, John, we find it hard to pray at this time. And so I wanted to invite you just to do something simple with me in these moments, just to pray with me. And it's to pray the words of the Lord's Prayer, it's when the disciples said to Jesus, Jesus, can you teach us to pray? And I find that it's one of the most helpful prayers just to stop and pause and to connect with God. And so in this week of many mixed emotions, mixed thoughts and feelings, I just invite you to stop and to pray it with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And so may God and his strength and his peace and his presence be with you at this time as we continue to root and trust in him.